What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 24 in the fourth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We're being told that eight gardeners equally share half of a pile of pine needles, and we're supposed to find out what fraction of that pile each gardener receives. So to do very well on a question like this, you'll need to know how to translate word problems and also how to divide fractions and whole numbers. So if we're going to go ahead and get started, I'm going to start by looking at this word each, because whenever I see the word each, or the word every, or the word per, these all essentially mean the same thing as words, and they all tell me in a problem that I'm going to have to multiply. Specifically, I'm going to have to multiply the gardeners by the fraction of the pile that they each receive, and that's going to give me the total amount of pine needles that they're all splitting up. Now I want to go ahead and plug in some of the information that I know. I know that there are eight gardeners, but I don't know what fraction of the pile they're going to get because that's what I'm being asked to find. And I know that the total amount of pine needles they're sharing is half of a pile. And since it's asking what fraction of the pile does each gardener receive, I'm going to plug in um, one half for my total and I'll be pretty sure that I'm going to get a fraction as my answer here. Now at this point, I'm going to break out my fact families, and I'm going to say that if I know that 8 times something equals 1 half, then I also know that 1 half divided by 8 is going to get me that same unknown number. And it's at this point that we get to the second skill that I um, said we were going to have to know in order to do really well on a question like this, which was dividing a fraction by a whole number. Now whenever I see a problem like this, my instinct is to say that this isn't 8 anymore, this is 8 over 1, or 8 holes. And now, I'm going to break out my keep, change, flip trick, where I keep this fraction like it is, I change dividing to multiplying, and I flip 8 over 1 over, so it becomes 1 over 8. So now I keep 1 half, it stays 1 half. I change dividing to multiplying, and I flip 8 over 1, so it becomes 1 over 8. And now I just have to multiply across my numerators and denominators. 1 times 1 is 1. Let me break out a different color for that. And then 2 times 8 is 16. So I end up with 1 over 16. Each gardener gets 1 16th of the pile. And if I want to check this answer, I just have to plug it back in and see if 8 times 1 16th does equal 1 half. So I'll take 8 and make it 8 over 1 again. I will multiply across my numerators to get 8 and my denominators to get 16. I will simplify, divide by 8, divide by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, 16 divided by 8 is 2. So I ended up with what I was expecting to get if 1 16th was in fact my answer to this problem. So now that I've checked 1 16th, I can go ahead and plug it into my gridded response boxes. And of course, I need to find my one bubble, my slash bubble, my one bubble, and my six bubble underneath each column, and bubble those in so that the computer that grades my test will know that I did it right.